At age 16, Amethyst Amelia Kelly, aka Iggy Azalea, told her parents she was going on vacation. She traveled to Florida and never went back. First of all, I don't know anyone who'd be comfortable with their 16-year-old daughter traveling alone to a foreign country. This is definitely not a normal thing. I mean, we've all seen Dateline. The Australian native grew up in New South Wales and always dreamed of being a rap star. So she decided to make her dreams a reality and started entering herself in every rap battle she could find in Australia. But she had no luck and decided that she would need to travel to America to really try her luck at being a rapper. She saved all the money she made cleaning homes, told her parents that she'd be visiting a friend in Miami. Her parents let her go since she was paying for the trip out of her own pocket. She went and stayed with a friend in Miami and later moved into an apartment with some roommates. After, she called her parents and told them that she wouldn't be coming back home. She did go back to Australia every few months to keep her visa current, but she would return back to America where she worked jobs that paid her under the table, all while trying to jumpstart her rap career. She wasn't having much success, so she decided to publish her music on MySpace and was discovered by Mr. Lee. She then moves from Miami to Houston to start recording some music with Mr. Lee. After living in Houston for a few months, Hurricane Ike comes, which forces her to move to Atlanta. While in Atlanta, some music managers discover her music and convince her to move to LA. She gets signed to Interscope Records and they try to merge her into the pop music genre, which was a complete disaster. She decided to go back to rapping and came out with her ignorant art mixtape which included the song P-U-S-S -S, and You Can Finish the Rest. She started to get noticed after dropping this mixtape, which helped her get signed to T.I.'s Grand Hustle label. She worked with T.I. to drop her first album called The New Classic, which sold about 50,000 copies in its first week. Her single Change Your Life was released, but didn't do that well. It's not until she drops Fancy that her career took off. Everyone and their mama was bumping that song. It was the perfect summer hit. After this, she goes on to collab with artists like Ariana Grande, producing hits like Problem. She really made a name for herself, but things started to get a little crazy. Her personal life started becoming more important than her music. One of the main subjects of conversation being the plastic surgery she has gotten. Azealia has admitted to having her nose, breasts, and butt done. Another big subject of conversation was her relationships that have been constantly talked about over social media. She dated and got engaged to NBA player Nick Young at one point, but she broke off the engagement when she had discovered that he cheated. She also dated Playboy Carter, and the pair even have a child together, a son named Onyx. Iggy Azalea has expressed over social media that Playboy Carter is not involved in his son's life. Unfortunately for Iggy Azalea, her latest music didn't perform as well as a new classic album. Azalea has stated that she'll be making a comeback and has even dropped hits like Sip It and Dance Like Nobody's Watching. It seems like she hasn't quite made as much of a comeback as she previously claimed. Either way, you can find Iggy Azalea on Instagram with her 16.5 million followers. So while it does seem like she hasn't been producing any really big hits lately, she still has a very loving following. So she's not doing that bad at the end of the day. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time.